shout out to Froggy Man One for becoming an Ultra member. Thank you so much, bro. Anyways, let's start the video. Hey everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another reaction. I'm going to be reacting to Among Us Logic 17 cartoon animation by Game Tunes. Now, you already know the drill. Watch the original video, subscribe to Game Tunes, make sure you like this video, subscribe, ring the bell. And yeah, we can get this started right here, right now in 3, 2, 1, let's go. And stay out, you mangy butt. Next time I see you trying it's to Captain steal a move from my Captain is chef, and Mr. Cheese is a dog. Aww, puppy. Wait a minute. What does any of this have to do with who the killer is? I'm getting to that, player. Do you want to hear the whole story or not? Yeah, player. It was just starting to get good. Fine. <laughs> Please continue. Ahem. So, anyways, eventually Cheddar was able to fall asleep in the alleyway. At the time, I was working as a sign spinner. You know, trying to pay my way through crewmate college. And I was barely able to make ends meet. And they forced you to wear that horrible clown costume? Nah, that was just for me. A few oh. love clowns, it showed us everybody else. Clowns are radical. Well, that's patently untrue. So there I was, out there spinning my sign, doing other tricks. Really just slaying in general. Cause that's sort of my mantra, you know? And that's when these punk kids came through and changed my life forever. <laughs> hey, get back here! <laughs> Society. <laughs> Somebody stop them! Please, please, I need that time back. Ow! Uh, but, but why? Ow! Uh, uh, ouchie! Ow! Uh, Mr. Uh, Cheese didn't deserve uh, anything. Uh, why? Why me? What could you possibly gain from this experience? Ow! Uh, uh, and many crewmates uh, dead. Uh, the many crewmates are gone. Ah! Oh my God, Mr. Cheese, get to the point. But you can't just skip right ahead to the end, okay? Mm -hmm. Each line is but a single thread in the rich tapestry that is my life story. Yeah, player. How do you expect the climax to have a gratifying conclusion if you don't set up <laughs> climax. the climax in the first <laughs> second X? It's like he's never even heard of Freytag's pyramid before. Freytag's what? Ah, you've never heard of 19th century German playwright Gustav Freytag's paradigm of dramatic structure outlining the seven key steps in successful storytelling? What the? Uh, no? What an idiot! <laughs> 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 oh, oh gosh. Will you two shut up already? I may not know anything about German playwrights, but I do know that if we don't figure out who the imposter is, all three of us are going to die! Fine, I'll skip ahead then. I still don't understand it to this day, but after I passed out in the alleyway from all that blunt force trauma, Cheddar was somehow able to transport and check me into the local hospital, Crewmate Regional Medical Center. Why bother with the full name of the hospital? Is that important to the story somehow, or...? Shut up! Sorry. How you feeling, Mr. Cheese? No, oh, I'm great, Doc. With Cheddar here by my side, I feel like a million bucks. Cheddar, huh? Looks more like a soft Gruyere to me. Fine. Uh, Cheddar it is. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Doc, when do you think I'll be able to get out of here? Hmm, let's see. Well, unfortunately, it looks like you're what we call in the biz a total goner. What? what? Yeah, your insides are seriously jacked up. I'm surprised you're even alive right now. You got all sorts of problems. No, so... So is it... Is it terminal? I wouldn't say that. Oh, thank God. So there's still a chance I could make it. No, no, no. You're a goner. I just wouldn't oh. ever say to someone that they're terminal. It's such a bummer. I like to be the cool, fun doctor that gives out good news and lollipops. I see. Aw. So how long do I have to live? <laughs> hmm. Well, let's look at the chart again. <laughs> oh, my God. You are not going to believe this, but I grabbed the wrong chart. <laughs> You're totally fine. Wow, I uh, I really biffed that one. Brain Oof. fart alert. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what a relief. Yeah, you're free to go. You're in great health. 
It's some guy named Mr. Mean Cook that only has a few hours left to live. <laughs> Mamma mia! Wait, pause! The fire's gone out. Let me grab the gasoline. Oh, oh no. Wait, have you been burning all our fuel this whole time? Uh, Captain the yeah. imposter! I needed that for one of my tasks! Well, sorry, Mr. Taskman. How else was I supposed to make my famous white chocolate s'mores? You want one? Oh, s'mores me up, baby. No, I don't want any snacks. I want to win this game. You said you knew who the imposter was, so just get on with it. Fine, fine, Oh, fine. he's got a little mouth. So, here's how the story ends. After Cheddar helped save my life, we became inseparable. He joined me in crewmate college, and we had all sorts of wacky adventures. He helped me cheat on my Task 101 test, and together we threw the sickest parties on the entire freaking campus. Nice. Cheddar was always the best wingman in the world. One time, he even helped our pathetic basketball team go all the way to the championship. It was a real life air bud situation. Nice. But he didn't just point the ball into the hoop like a dork. Cheddar was straight up dunking on fools, baby. After college, though, Cheddar decided it was best to settle on his own, forging his own path and whatnot. I miss him every day. I tried to get Toto to replace him, but he ended up turning into an evil zombie dog and bit me pretty freaking hard. I don't know. Oh, there's it Cheddar. The same between me and him after that. Eventually, I became a regular crewmate on our voyages to Meyer HQ, the Scales, and of course, here on Polis. And we just sort of lost touch. I guess that's what uh -huh. happens when you get older. The friends you thought you could never live without just sort of fade away from memory. They do. <laughs> you have to call him, Mr. Cheese. I know you miss him, and I'm sure Cheddar misses you too. I mean, maybe, but what would I even say? I know what you could say. What's that, boy? You could say who the imposter is! Literally nothing you've talked about during this entire story has had anything to do with what's happening in the game! But it has, player. You see, I didn't tell you that little story to reveal the imposter. No, no, no. I did it to waste time for my sabotage cooldown. What? Mr. No. Yes, player. My grand scheme will finally be realized! <laughs> the doors won't match, player! That's because you keep flipping all the same switches as me! You poor pathetic fools! Time is running out! Run! I'll take this one, player! You activate the sensor on the other side! Got it! Run! Run! Almost there! I'm gonna make it! Oh, oh, uh, 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 Wait, uh, Cheddar! Good boy, Cheddar! How could you do this? You monster! I'm not a monster. I'm just a cheesy boy with a cheesy dog, baby. No! And that's it. Wow, amazing episode. Mm. All right. Yeah, this that, this was an amazing episode. Very, very amazing episode. All right. All right, boys, that's the end of this episode. Make sure you watch the original video, subscribe to Game Tunes, make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys. Thanks for watching. Deuces.